Hello, one of the questions we get asked on the railway a lot is why it takes so long to write timetables. That's particularly the case when there's something happening like industrial action or something unforeseen like a landslip. So I thought I'd go to London to meet a couple of people called Chris to find out. How do you start writing a timetable, Chris? So the first thing you start off with is your likely demand. Where are people going to be? Where do they want to get to? So what, which stations are they going to want to get from and to? And then you, you base it around that. But then you've got to work in your, um, your restraints. And those are your resources. So how many trains do you have? Where are those trains? Which depots are they starting from in the morning? Crucially, which depots do they need to get back to in the evening for maintenance? And uh, where are your staff? Which staff do you have available on that day? What route knowledge do they have? Those people need to know where they need to be, at which specific time, uh, and we need to tell them three or four days in advance, depending on the agreements that we have with them, so that they can arrange their life. Uh, how do they do all this? Do they crunch the numbers? So we've got some incredibly talented timetable planners across the industry, but they use computer systems to help them out because there are so many variables when you're looking at a timetable. So they use these computer systems which take all of those variables, things like um, they know the exact speed limits on every section of the line, they know which trains are allowed into which stations. So the computer takes all of that, crunches it into something that's workable as a timetable, spits that out. The timetable planners then get to work on that. They either make manual adjustments or, if they've got time, they'll run it back through the computer several times to uh, iterate and to improve on that version every time. And finally, how long does it take to run it, write a timetable? It takes a long time to properly write a timetable. So let's say if we were talking about the December 2023 timetable, you would start in March or April 22. If that's how operators produce their timetables, where does Network Rail fit in? Well, a few years ago, we used to help produce this. This is the 2007 National Rail timetable. And this weighty tome is the last time the railway itself produced a printed version of the whole lot. Now, of course, this does still exist. It's still there, just not printed. That is where Network Rail comes in. Network Rail runs over 22,000 trains a day on a typical weekday uh, all over the country and that's from around 30 different train operators and freight train companies uh, and we have to put together their proposals for a timetable into one national timetable and make it all fit together like a giant puzzle. When it comes to something like industrial action or say a landslip or something that mm. requires a new timetable, yeah. you haven't got 18 months to do that, so no. how do you do it? So uh, the, the national process does take about 12 to 18 months, uh, we are compressing that a little bit at present, but for something of, like a strike, and we've unfortunately seen a lot of that recently, uh, we uh, put together emergency timetables, and in many cases we've been planning for bad weather for some time, obviously, and same for industrial action. Now some train operators will have something like that ready off the shelf, however, um, many operators don't, and so what they do is, in a matter of days, create something that uh, fits their requirements in that sort of time. Uh, but necessarily there would have to be fewer trains because to put together a whole national timetable and do all the deconflicting that we would need to do takes weeks and weeks. So how do you get a job in writing a timetable? Well, in uh, Milton Keynes there's always uh, opportunity for uh, people to go into capacity planning. Um, Chris and his team take on uh, scores people every year and there's a very clear training path through to uh, progress through the organisation. Um, but look it up on the Network Rail website. So there we go, I'm on my way home to Kent now with a much better understanding of timetabling. To summarise, if you want to write a timetable, you need to understand how many trains you have and where they are. You need to understand your colleagues, what hours they can work and where they are too. You need to understand the limitations of the track and the signalling. And you also need to understand your passenger demand, where your customers are and where they want to go. The other thing, of course, is that if you have a question about railways, find someone called Chris.